The moment after he was shot, Thomas Young tried to pick up his rifle. When his arms wouldn't move, he realized it was bad. I knew something was uh, terribly wrong, so I tried to scream, take me out, somebody kill me. Instead, doctors saved him and sent him home, paralyzed. Now the soldier, once willing to lay down his life for his country, only wants to lay down and die. I watch my body deteriorate. The people who knock these buildings down will hear all of us soon. Young enlisted just days after 9-11, wanting to fight those who had attacked America. I was nothing but proud. I know my son was going to go defend our country. But instead of Afghanistan, in 2004, Young found himself in Iraq, a nation he says did nothing against the U.S. And on just his fifth day, hey, a bullet wow. severed his spine. Here it is. From his wheelchair, he became an outspoken critic of the U.S. presence in Iraq. It bothers us to see not only how he's handling the war, but the problems we face don't seem to get through to them. They don't seem to care because they don't have any personal investment in the war. By 2007, his life was a documentary called Body of War. But that sniper's bullet continued to take its toll. In 2008, a blood clot traveled to his lung, affecting his brain. And when he woke up from the coma, he had lost the ability to speak. Since then, Thomas's life has been on a downward slide. He seldom leaves his bed, can't swallow food, a tube feeds his stomach. Last year, his colon was removed. Now he wears a colostomy bag. His bed sores penetrate to the bone. He takes more than 30 pills a day. Every so often, they have to increase the dose because the pain starts to, starts to get worse. This is a roller coaster. I mean, this is an impossible journey. Much harder for him than it is for me, but I have to simply bear witness, which is very hard. His wife, Claudia, says it's not that Thomas wants to stop living. He just wants to stop suffering. Unable to swallow pills, unable to pull a trigger, unwilling to implicate anyone else, Thomas plans to starve himself to death. I support his decision. And the woman who gave him life understands. A lot of what Thomas was and who Thomas was is gone now anyway. I've already mourned that, so I'll just pick up the pieces. And... But not everyone agrees with his choice. Since announcing his decision, some of those religiously opposed to it have literally beat a path to his door to try and stop him. They feel like they have the right to impose their view on our unique human lives and situation. Young has still to choose an exact date when he will start to carry out his plan. But with so many gravely wounded vets returning home from back-to-back -back wars, he is certain he won't be the only one looking to find the right day to die. Martin Savage, CNN, Kansas City.